Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for the week of May 25th through the 31st. So I'm just going to do this my regular way because that's what I feel like doing, but we're, this is going to be the, for the week of the 25th through the 31st. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Ooh, the devil. And the six of wands reverse. And the Page of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. Alright, so Taurus, for the week of May 25th through the 31st, what do we got? We got Tempted. Ooh, look at that. So, Tempted. Um, bound. Looks as though these people have... Well, it's not very tight right now. They could break free, but I don't think they're going to. You notice, uh, you see the chains aren't very bound. It looks like they've uh, accepted. They've accepted the temptation, right? They have. Uh, it looks as though there is some sort of bond that is deepening. Um, there's obviously people that are, are demons in the background here that are, you know, very happy with this. They're happy that these two people have... Uh, uh, could not stop themselves, these demons, which is interesting. So, Taurus, hmm. There's definitely a feeling of uh, lust, okay? There's lust here. There's there's two people that are, they can't keep their hands off each other. They can't. So, Six of Wands reversed. There's the struggling, struggling. Um... This battle isn't over yet, obviously, with the Six of Wands reversed. There's some sort of, you know, um, right in the middle of it. Still right in the middle of it. So this is this has got a long ways to go. We have the Page of Swords with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has the power in her hand. She has the truth. There's messages coming in. Now this Queen of Swords, this is a message of conflict. There's somebody coming, somebody that has been watching, probably by the middle of the week, okay? It's the beginning of the week. There's uh, two people coming together that are very, very, um, they can't keep each other. They can't keep their hands off each other. So it could be, there could be a lot of passion, a lot of lust, something like that. Um, definitely a very sexual energy at the beginning of the week. Um, but there could be some sort of conflict here that you don't see because it's like something is arriving. Uh, somebody may be jealous. They may be upset with this this page of swords, okay? Um, this, that's bad news, okay? It's bad news. Um, looks as though... This guy maybe may have gotten the message. May somebody has gotten a message about this. Okay, this has happened. Now the message has been delivered. Has been delivered to this person. This person is watching. Uh, the Queen of Swords. She has the sword in her hand. She has the truth. She knows the truth. She's turned her back on an individual. Um, she's focusing on. Um, the new beginning, a transformation, because we have a butterfly here. Butterfly is a sign of transformation, change. So she's focusing on the future. She's focusing on some sort of change. Um, but there is somebody that is not happy. This is an enemy or a spy or somebody that is not happy watching this person. This person um, is very, very powerful. Delivering messages, uh, speaking with somebody, changing, changing. Has you know what I want to say is like the butterfly has has come out of their chrysalis, right? They've changed. Um, I feel like there's going to be an arrival or some sort of message that comes through from somebody that is uh, pissed off or upset or something like that. Probably. Maybe it's Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Um, I think there's a difficult um, conversation, put it that way. Uh, could be between a child and a mother or somebody, you know, I don't know who it is, but somebody, doesn't have to be. This is a diff difficult conversation. Um, there also could be messages from above because sometimes when I see butterflies, like if I'm outside, I, you know, I, I, I think, you know, maybe it's somebody that has uh, 
passed away that is is trying to send me a message okay so somebody is from that has passed away maybe trying to send a message um to get prepared for something get prepared for something um now the, the queen of swords is very very intelligent very very wise um very intense and in calculating so it looks like she has a uh, look on her face as if she knows that something is coming or she knows that somebody's going to get pissed off she's waiting for it by the looks of things so um and she can be hard to deal with the queen of swords is you know um a little intimidating which is interesting so on tuesday i think you can expect to receive some sort of message from somebody that has heard something from a group of people or they've seen something and it pisses them off and it causes some sort of um maybe you don't see this battle coming you know what i mean you're out having fun at the beginning of the week doing something you know very uh whatever and then um somebody else gets pissed off so Ooh, two of cups reversed and the eight of swords now this is somebody coming to break for somebody free this person has been waiting they've been waiting and waiting and waiting for their hero to arrive or waiting for uh to be broken free and this person has arrived so that's what's happened somebody has arrived to help an individual break free from some sort of uh mental turmoil or situation that they were trapped in or not seeing the truth or this is like the hero okay somebody has come to uh the rescue okay but this two of cups reversed is lack of partnership uh dis dis disconnection of some sort um hmm I need to get another card for that two of cups to see what's up. Because right here we have two people that can't keep their hands off each other. But this this is this is a, a disharmony, disconnection, an imbalance of some sort. Now this could be an argument or a separation or ending or losing a friendship or losing a partner. Somebody's not happy with this card right here. Somebody may not be happy that somebody has come to uh, another person's rescue. Okay. You may have heard something. I'm not happy. A hermit. Somebody that's a hermit. That the hermit is somebody who is coming out of hiding. This person has been in hiding. They've been in a hermit mode, but now they're coming out. They did not put in effort for a partnership. Now this person's coming out of hiding. I don't know who this person is. This is definitely coming out of hiding looking at something sees something ready to make a move interesting and i feel like this is about thursday or wednesday on wednesday so it starts out with you know monday whatever whenever you're watching this you know there's a deep connection that is that is it's not completely bound yet though because those those chains aren't tight it's deepening it's deepening in a bond these people can't keep their hands off each other there's a very sexual magnetic attraction here but this is uh somebody that is very is struggling with the six of wands reversed another person i feel maybe feeling disgraced or that they've lost their power no staying power. So the, I'm not sure what is going on. There's no staying power here. I don't, what the fuck is going on? So this is no staying power. And this is coming to the rescue. Mm. Sun card. Happiness. Birth. New day. New beginning. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is an opportunity for happiness. This is a big, bright opportunity. Ten of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. Temperance. I'm just going to get some more cards here. Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. 
I don't want this. I don't want this. Somebody's not happy. Somebody is not happy at another person's happiness. It's like it's slipping away. Something is slipping away by the end of the week. What the fuck? Excuse my language. Um... So this isn't, this, it feels as though we have a queen of swords who is very smart. She is very intelligent. She's very, very, very intelligent. This is an opportunity that isn't real or it isn't solid. It isn't stable. This is an exchange after death. So there's, there's something, a relationship that has ended. Okay. Cause this is a relationship, the 10 of cups that, it, that has ended. That's your death. Now the temperance comes. It's 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 it's, a, it's time for something better. You need to, you need to take it slow, be grounded but fluid. Be able to allow and accept change. Somebody may be saying something because this is this is a meddler. This is a meddler. So we have somebody here that may be saying something. You know, this isn't real or something like that because they're jealous. I feel like they're jealous of ha your happiness. They're jealous. So they may be wanting you to not take that. They may be wanting you not to take that opportunity. Um, it feels like we have some people that are trying to discourage a union. Okay, they're trying to discourage a union. And this could be, you know, these people are coming. They're coming to say something. They've got something to say. So I think there's going to be some information that comes through from an individual that has been watching and they have some sort of information, you know. They're, it's like they're trying to break something up. They are. They're trying to break something up. Temperance is a card of allow and accept. Allow and accept change. Managing your feelings, a need to be patient, a need to be patient. Looks like this fish is jumping out of the cup, so uh, getting back in, swimming away. <laughs> so I don't know what is going on, but uh, somebody may be deciding that they, you know, don't want this or something like that. Four of Cups. Dumping it out. Nothing here. I don't want it. I don't want it. Taking it and dumping it. Taking it and dumping it. Somebody may be getting dumped. see what the hell is this four of cups some you know what the hell um but this is coming out of hermit mode knight of cups drinking from his own cup king of cups reversed not fighting not not gonna fight not fighting no no com no no competition now this game is over messages going back and forth New opportunity being given, being taken for love. There's a new opportunity for love here. There, we have a meddler. We have a meddler that is going to try to get somebody to dump another person. This is somebody that is jealous. And they don't want that person to go down that path. 
but this is a big opportunity for love. So I think you need to be prepared to hear from somebody that is going to say, you know, some things that are probably not true. They're going to say it because they're jealous. They're jealous. And it may make you upset. It may make you upset. Or this person, um, they don't see things in the same way that you do. They just don't see things the same way. You don't see eye to eye with this person. They don't want you to take that relationship. They don't want you to get in that relationship. They don't, they don't want you to fall in love or something like that. Or they may say, no, you can't do this or something like that. And it could, I don't know if it's a child or what it is, but it doesn't have to be a child. It could be um, anybody. Whoever this is, this is somebody that doesn't have your back, okay? They, 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 they don't have your back. And I feel like, you know, they may see that you're getting into some sort. They do see. They see that you're getting into a relationship. They see that somebody has come into the picture and they're not happy. So they're probably going to cause some sort of conflict. They may try to scare the other person away. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is a solid opportunity. I really do. That could grow into something, you know very loving in time with the temperance card so i feel like this is a week that starts out as very passionate and it may and throughout the week there may be a little conflict from another person that doesn't want this to blossom doesn't want it to grow okay because this is about growth could be children could have a couple of children here i don't know doesn't have to be um but they don't want to see the happiness or something like that so i feel like there's some sort of conflict that comes about over that i also feel like um it's a very emotional week there's a lot of emotions here there is a lot of them it's going to be a very emotional emotions are probably going to be on high all right we do have a new beginning here somebody has taken that leap they have taken the leap they have jumped in that they have done it this is jumped, leaped, leapt into unknown territory. It's like, boom. It's like, I don't even care if I fall flat on my face. I'm doing it. This is smelling that rose. It's like, I'm taking it. I'm doing it. So somebody has taken that leap of faith. And I feel like uh, there is somebody in the background that is not, it's like, this isn't, are you stupid? And it's like, no, I'm not stupid. This, I, I have faith. I'm going to trust, you know? So I think that Taurus, this week you are leap, you have leapt or something like that into unknown territory. Somebody has entered the scene that um, is breaking you free from a situation that you have been in mental turmoil about. You know, you've been in some sort of mental conflict. This person can make you very happy. They're probably making you very happy. They may be helping you to heal from a situation. You know, you've been uh, in a sad situation or something like that. You may have been really sad or were feeling alone or you were alone, you know, feeling, you know, but this is coming out and re and connecting with somebody that can make you very, very happy. But there is definitely an individual or individuals, could be family members, I don't know who it is, uh, that um, are saying things that you don't agree with. You know, they're saying things that they don't see it the way that you see it. And there's there's probably going to be an upset. But I think that you can get through this upset. You can. Because with, with time, in time, you know, the fight will end. The battle will end. It won't last. It will come and it will go. Okay, it's not going to last. It's not going to last. Um, so there's definitely going to be a battle, though. There's gonna You're going to win. You And I'm not saying that you, you need to win, but you'll win. This person will eventually, these people or whoever they are, will eventually retreat as long as you give them love and nurture them and care for them and uh, show them, show them um, that you care, prove that you care. Um, this is a soulmate connection. So I feel like we have two people that are coming together that are meant to be together, but there's jealousy. There's jealousy around. As long as you have enough love to go around, everything is going to be fine. Um, it's definitely going to be an emotional week, put it that way. Emotions are going to be on high. They are going to be on high. Be delicate. Be gentle. Okay? Be gentle. Um, 
we have we have two people where a relationship is 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 growing it's growing the bond is deepening i can see that it is the bond is deepening and we have a couple of other people that aren't don't want it to deepen so that's where your conflict or they just are hateful or they're angry or they're upset or whatever the case is that's going to be the middle of your week you're going to be dealing with some people whether it's children or family members or whoever it is that just they say the wrong things or something like that or they cause an argument or they don't agree with you or whatever and you have to work through it but i think you will with the temperance card you will work through it you will work through it and you'll get through it you'll get through it because you know this is a big opportunity for love so anyway i do feel like we have a, a relationship that is is stepping it up to the next level against the wishes of some people good luck